Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leo, channel Love Face Style. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Love Face Style. I post daily men's fashion and travel content there, so follow along. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys will know that I was in Chicago for the All-Star Weekend. Absolutely best weekend of my life. It was just so much fun. Did so many amazing things, met so many cool people and got some sneakers as well. So here it is, here is the UNC to Chicago Jordan 1. I was actually able to get these off the sneaker app the morning I was going to Chicago. And then when I got there during the All-Star weekend, they had these available there. So I already got on the app, so I figured I'd just wait for it to come in the mail and I review them at home here. Now I gotta say, first look, these sneakers are really, really nice in person. When I first saw these photos and the whole idea of UNC to Chicago, I was kind of on the fence about them. But the more and more I saw photos of them, I actually started to like them a lot. I really do appreciate this like blue and red colorway. It reminds me of the top three Jordan ones, which I don't have and I would like a pair. But I really do like the colors specifically because they remind me of like the NBA All-Star Weekend and it kind of reminds me of like Chicago as well with the baby blue. Now this blue is a little bit different. It's not, as you can see, it's not the same as like the normal Carolina baby blue, this like Chicago blue color. This is definitely much more like that UNC colorway. So it's a little bit more like electric, if you will. It's a nice, really bold color blue. And it's definitely different than what you see on the market right now. I'm also really loving this quality of this leather. I mean, I'm feeling this, holding this, and it feels really, really nice. This is definitely a nice pickup that you can get for retail if it's not sold out already. I don't think the resale value is that high on these, maybe like 20 bucks over. So I think it's definitely a good pickup to have. I'll link them to StockX in the video description below. Another difference in this pair of sneakers is the red leather hang tag here. I actually really like this a lot. I think as a packaging standpoint, it looks really nice. Usually I just toss them out or throw in the box, but I like this a lot. This is really cool. Now, of course, you can't really beat this color blocking. This is the classic bread ones color blocking. Basically all black at the top here. You got the color here in the back and then you got the red toe in the front. So it's a really nice color and I always love the white midsole to kind of balance out the shoes so it's not like an all black pair of sneaker. The sneaker does come in this red Nike box, which I do really like this color. It's a really nice box here. They're technically a woman's sneaker. So for me, I normally wear a size 11. I got this in a 12 and a half. I think all in all, like this is a really nice box packaging and this pair of sneaker, definitely really good quality. And the colorway is pretty dope. A quick side-by-side -side comparison here. This is the Bread Toe Jordan 1. I think this is from like two, three years back. So pretty similar overall. I do think the leather quality is pretty similar. The major difference here, I think it's like the soft liner here. The Bread Toe ones, it's more of this like cloth. It's a little bit rougher. This new one is actually really nice and soft. So I think this new pair of the liner is more comfortable. But that's really the major difference between the two with the liner here. You can actually see the difference in the material as well. Oh no, I think like the quality of the leather is really similar. Obviously the color blocking is different. You have this white leather here. This is the all black, like the original bread colorway. But as you can see, I think like the blue really pops out really strong in this colorway and for styling wise, you can wear anything from red to blue. So it's actually really, really versatile. All right guys, so on this channel, I'm gonna show you guys a few different outfits, how to style these, the tailor type style. So showing you a mix of menswear pieces that's more sharp and stylish and styling these guys for a really sharp look. All right, look number one, I'm going with a double denim look. You guys know spring season is here and double denim it's definitely going to be one of the most popular styling options out there. But I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm not going to do a denim jacket this time. I'm doing a denim shirt. So in the style, it is still double denim, but I got a denim shirt with some blue ripped jeans. And I picked denim because the blue color matches really well with the Carolina blue on the sneakers. 
I think you have a lot of fun with this pair because you have red color you can play with, you can have blue colors you can play with. Here, the denim shirt, this one is from Calvin Klein, and I just love the little pop of white on the shirt pocket there. And then I'm going with these blue ripped jeans that I love from Express. I think on sale they're like 50 bucks, and they're honestly one of the best fitted jeans out there in the market all right outfit number two i gotta do it i'm going with this red bomber jacket this jacket here is from acne studios i got this on sale for like 200 bucks but you can really go for any kind of red jacket at the top here you know the red color on the jordan one here they're very similar to the bread toes to the classic bread colorway so I gotta go with this black and red color at the top here. The combination of the black and red just looks so nice. But I'm sticking with the blue ripped jeans to match the Carolina blue. So I think like you can have a lot of fun with this. You can easily match red pieces, blue pieces, white pieces. You know, there's just a lot of color combinations here that normally wouldn't match as nice on another pair of Jordans. Outfit number three. This is actually another double denim look. But it looks really nice because I'm breaking down the pieces like this. I'm going with a black denim jacket at the top. This is like a nice faded black denim jacket. This is actually from the Levi's Jordan collab from a few years ago. And what I love about this piece is that it's number one, it's reversible. But two, there's so many details in this jacket that has red color in it. So you're talking about a nice black and red piece. This is one of my favorites. So you have a lot of red popping in and out of the collar on the sleeves and obviously matches really nice with the sneakers and then again just wearing the blue ripped jeans goes really well with the blue on the sneaker so you can easily just wear these jeans with the sneakers and match however you want at the top so that makes the styling a lot easier outfit number four the last one i'm going with this white hoodie at the top i didn't want to go super matchy matchy with this one i just want to go something plain like a white hoodie at the top you don't see white hoodie that often usually it's like black and navy and gray so a white hoodie is nice it has that like really strong pop and at the same time it really lets the shoes pop at the bottom so you know the shoes is all the colors the red and the blue but here, because you're going neutral at the top here, you can really let the shoe speak for itself. The hoodie is a little bit of an oversized, so to style it nicer, you just gotta pull up the sleeves, and I think that looks sharper already. And this particular hoodie is a little bit shorter, and then also my shirt is a little bit longer. So just having that layer, it shows like the black t-shirt underneath, so you can see the white, the black, with the blue jeans, and obviously these are the same colors that you have in the sneakers. So all in all, it's a very minimal, sharp look, but at the same time, really lets the sneakers pop. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching.